Hi everyone, welcome along today. You know, one thing that is very frustrating, isn't it, is when you get home from work and find a letter on the doormat saying the mailman's been and they've left the card because you weren't in to receive a parcel and it's now down at the sorting office and you've got to go and get it. I think, I think I could have spoke to the chap and told him there's a safe place to put it or I could have said uh, if you could pop to my neighbour at number seven or whatever this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> and also, wouldn't it be nice on another note just to be able to see quite who it is that keeps calling at your door when you're away, holiday at work or whatever. So, to that end, I've decided to give one of these a try and this is a video doorbell. So, the bell push right there, it illuminates so it's quite nice. Because the microphone is there and the camera lens and a PIR detector down the bottom so all fairly simple it's 720 PI so it's HD as far as this camera is concerned it's pretty good it's got a wide angle lens on it obviously to try and capture whoever it is out there that's pushing the bell and basically that's it but let's take another closer look at the back of it right I've taken one of the batteries out so you can see compare the size there's an all AA Duracell there and as you can see this battery is quite a bit bigger it's 3.7 volts and it's actually called a number it's 18650 so you kind of got to get these special I did manage to get them on eBay but it took a little bit of searching uh, and they're not that cheap really uh, it cost me just under £10 for four of those although actually obviously you can see it only takes three they are rechargeable though that's the only good thing about them so when they go down you just recharge them up and they do last between six and nine months so okay you can put them in a standby mode uh, and they can put them in a battery power saving mode even and they will just keep running on and on so that's one good thing once you have got them but one other thing of course is the charger uh, if you've got a normal battery charger for those AAs that you have there it won't fit those so you might find you even have to buy a charger which again will cost you another six pounds to charge these up uh, I had a charger that had expanding like spring sockets in it so I could charge the battery up okay so not too bad for me I didn't have to buy a charger but spreading all that uh, if you really want one of these devices that is the one thing these batteries unfortunately but uh, I just thought I would highlight that there is two sockets here for the power supply it says between uh, 12 and 24 volts AC if you want to you do get the little wires to connect it up but uh, I didn't think I'd go along that route but you can so if you want to use a transformer you can actually connect those two sockets up there and hardwire it in now then what else do you get well instruction booklet and these this is these two little wire connections I'm showing you uh, I'm talking about that, that will go on here and here with the other one there's two of them as you can see there's an allen key here because you can actually kind of security fasten this once this bit goes on the back you can lock it with a screw through to the back to hold it in place in case someone tries to steal it off your front door <laughs> now I do stress if you live in an area where you think that might happen then I would definitely use the fixing kit to secure it to the wall <laughs> okay because they do supply sticky tape on the back for those of us that think it won't get stolen we can just stick it on the back of the door particularly good if you've got a glass door I guess and you can just stick that on but Hey, if you're in a risky area and you think no that will probably get stolen screw it up and then use the locking screw that goes up through the back to hold it on so to get you started one of the first thing you do is download the app and that's this one here okay, I'm putting my finger out that one there download that one right we'll open it up now shall we So this is a live view from the camera. Oh, it's looking at me, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's pointing it out the door. That light look a bit better. Yeah, there we go. And you can see it's quite a wide angle view, which is ideal. I will get it on the door in a minute so you can see it going properly and working. But uh, this is kind of like the first view you get. Oh, here I am looking at it. Hello. <laughs> This does also add the useful thing of cloud storage. If you are paying for any, you can get that. You can share the code so that other people can share the doorbell, of course, on their phones as well. We don't need just on one call. And accept call notification on there. 
one of the important ones in the menu here is the battery management one and that's what you get when you do push that one there all our other menus are down here as you can see the usual ones settings the important one the all important settings this is the one the SD card and all the usual things that you can set up and I like the fact you can set up a PR detection so that even if they do not ring the doorbell you will still get notified on your phone I like that one that is really good uh, usual things there I'll just go through it slowly so you can see now I know what you're saying sometimes these are very hard to set up the Wi-Fi with I, I know that <laughs> but this one in actual fact was very very easy one of the easiest stuff come across so setting up the Wi-Fi password and all the rest of it to get logged on was very simple with this actual camera the best I've had so far so let's get back now to seeing it up on the door and giving it a proper bit of usage shall we see how it gets on so I've stuck the back plate on there on a bit of plastic by the main door handle and I can tell you it is really sticky uh, I'll put it on there and I can't move it an inch the front plate literally just drops down like so on there all right clicks in if you want to lock it on you can lock it with the screw all right and it will hold it on there that's your fact that was stuck on the door I think someone would have a hell of a job trying to get that off of there <laughs> it's really gone on solid so let's now take a look at what the actual phone is seeing shall we here then is what my phone is seeing and as you can see it's a really lovely day out there today beautiful day and uh, you can see I've got a bit of a view from my house I can see all the houses across the way where I live here my hometown of Dawlish right then with the phone in my hand let's see what happens I'll push the doorbell let's see what happens with the phone and as you can see there is a notification okay to say that someone's at the door so I was about to get this video done when as you can hear a gardener has turned up in the house over the road and he's using his various saws and what have you to cut the trees which has kind of cut my video a little bit short so Dan's going to be a real calling out the door let's see how we get on so we wait for it to call push the doorbell there's the app and we should have results of what we're going to see at the door will be jammed back lit by the bright sky behind us I dare say yeah as you can see it's a bit dark because it's uh, very very light so positioning the camera is very important okay so Jan can you hear me out there I can hear you yes yep so it's pretty clear now not bad yeah. That's not bad, yeah. That's good. So it's good enough. Lastly, just to give you a nighttime view, I've put it down in my garage. I shut the garage door so it's completely pitch black in there. All right, just so you can see. Only at night time I have loads of lights turn on out the front, so you're never going to get a true test of its nighttime capability. But that is one there, as you can see, pretty clear and good overall. So there we are. Something that's very useful in my opinion. I think it would suit a lot of people, especially elderly people as well who've got phones that can at least kind of series at the door before they go answering it and things like that. Lots of really good useful things I think can come about with that camera type doorbell. I think that's a useful one. So there we are. Just want to show that one. I'll give the link for it for where I got mine and uh, they're not even a lot of money not for what they do not in my opinion it's pretty reasonable i think it's pretty good so i'll give you that and you can check it out yourself if you're in the market for that sort of thing carry on <laughs> security i always take top measures and i think a very useful thing to have a home home security these days is absolute must isn't it okay well you know where to go for all my videos Derek and 33 thanks for watching guys bye bye